पोस्ट डॉक्टोरल फेलोशिप और पीडीएफ इज अ रिसर्च प्रोग्राम विच इज डिजाइन स्पेशली फॉर पीएचडी ग्रेजुएट्स मेनी पीपल अज्यूम दैट अ पीडीएफ और अ पोस्ट डॉक्टोरल फेलोशिप प्रोग्राम इज लाइक डूइंग अ डबल पीएचडी बट दिस इज नॉट ट्रू एट ऑल in fact between a pdf and a phd the only thing which is common is the underlying research work both of these are research programs but if you would look closely at the pre admission and the post admission process of a pdf and a phd you would see so many differences in case you do want to know what exactly is a post doctoral program or a post doctoral fellowship also known as pdf or pdp who can pursue it how can you pursue it from where can you pursue it and what exactly happens in a pdf then you can stay tuned with me your one and only phd mentor advisor and trainer dr ritika gava this video has been prepared after going through details of the several universities analyzing them we drew up 10 important characteristics which we felt were common to majority of these topmost universities pdf program and then based on that we have prepared this video which is titled 10 facts about post doctoral fellowship let us start with a fact number 1 post doctoral fellowship program is a hard core research program the two most important responsibilities of a pdf is research and publications in fact many universities in their guidelines have made it very clear that these would be the only two things which a pdf would be majorly engaged in so if you are a research scholar who loves to pursue research who is keen on pursuing further research then you should definitely consider post doctoral fellowship you can pursue research in any other interdisciplinary area you can plan to study some unique or some different aspect of your current research work so does that mean that only once you completed your phd you can apply for a pdf no that's not true you can apply for a pdf that is post doctoral fellowship even when you are still pursuing your phd how which brings us to a fact number 2 now when you are still applying for a P when you are still pursuing your phd which brings us to fact number 2 students who are still pursuing their phd program can also apply for a post doctoral fellowship so majority universities across the globe allow students who completed their thesis submitted it for evaluation and are awaiting their phd final phd viva these students are allowed to apply and not only apply but even start their pdf program however the universities would give them certain time period say 6 months within which they would have to phase their final defense complete their final defense and also attain a provisional phd degree then only they would be allowed to further pursue their post doctoral fellowship however if you are in your final years of phd then you can start looking for a pdf program where you can apply okay now the next question is that do you need to appear for any special examination any eligibility examination to pursue a pdf no which brings us to a third fact that no special examination or eligibility examination are usually required to pursue a post doctoral fellowship so if you are planning to pursue a post doctoral fellowship from your own country then in all probabilities you will not be required to give any other entrance exam or a eligibility exam especially not in the case of india however if you are planning to move abroad then uh, you might be asked to qualify certain english proficiency examination but that is also not a mandatory requirement by all the universities but yes some universities are definitely asking for an english proficiency examination 
So what are the documents which the universities usually focus on if not an eligibility exam or an entrance exam? So in PDF, the major focus uh, would be on your past academic qualification, your past research work, publications, and most importantly, your research proposal, which you would be applying based on which you would be applying for your PDF position. Fact number four, postdoctoral fellowships are always full time. So if you want to become a postdoctoral fellow, be ready that you will be, it will be a full time program only. There is no option of pursuing it online through distance mode or doing it along with your regular job. In fact, postdoctoral fellows are treated as employees of an organization, of an institution. And because you're treated as an employee, you would be required to follow, follow up the protocols which other employees follow. You might be asked to come regularly to the university every day for fixed hours. You would be given fixed leaves. And also, it means that you would be given a fixed stipend or a monthly fellowship. Which brings us to a fact number five. Postdoctoral fellowship, as the name suggests, always get a monthly fellowship or a monthly stipend. And these fellowships which you get as a P PDF are much higher than what you would have got as a PhD student. Not only this, accompanying these fellowships are many other perks like contingency grants, annual contingency grants. You are usually given an HRA. You are also given your medical expenses or medical insurance and many times institute would uh, give you allowances for traveling abroad uh, for attending different conferencing or conferences or presenting your paper. So the postdoctoral research program sound exciting but you do not want to dedicate another four or five years to your research. Don't worry postdoctoral fellowship programs are of extremely short duration. Let us hear about the duration and the contractual nature of these program in our next fact. So postdoctoral fellowship program usually are of six months, one year or two years of time period. And that also they are contractual in nature. That means that once you've completed the stimulated time period, which was decided initially in your contract, your performance would be reviewed. And if it is found satisfactory, and both of you agree, then your contract can be renewed. In case in between also you do not want to continue, then you, normally universities give you the provision of resigning from a fellowship program, of course, after giving a due notice and time to them. From where can you pursue these postdoctoral fellowship program? If that is your concern, then let us address that in our next fact. So postdoctoral fellowship program can be pursued or are offered by almost all top universities across the globe. If a university is, is dedicated to research and development, they would have some or the other kind of postdoctoral fellowship programs. In fact, postdoctoral programs are so important that many universities keep it open throughout the year. So you can apply to these program any time of the year. Fact number eight, more PDF opportunity or postdoctoral opportunities available for recently graduated PhD scholars. If you're keen to pursue a PDF, then don't wait for a very long time after your PhD. As most of the universities seem to prefer those students who've recently completed their PhD work. Fact number nine, Postdoctoral fellowship is not an extension of your PhD work. In fact, the universities actually forbid students from, from taking up anything which is extremely related to their past PhD work. You can study the same research area, the same domain. Say, supposing you were doing something in VLSI or artificial intelligence or gender equality. You can study the same area, but you will have to study some different aspect of that area. Fact number 10, research publications are a very important part of your 
postdoctoral fellowship program. The universities in your job role clearly mention the number of publications that you have to make. And as it is, when you are doing research, what would be the use of that newly discovered knowledge if you do not publish it and let other researchers and students read your hard work? So, as I mentioned, these are the 10 most important facts related to postdoctoral programs across the globe. If you have any other questions related to PDF, please ask us in the comment section below. Also, let us know if you want us to create more videos on this topic. Thank you so much for watching my video and please don't forget to share, like and subscribe our channel.